Today's 39th commentary blog will be a review on Battle for Dream Island and Inanimate Insanity. Battle for Dream Island, abbreviated as BFDI, is the first season of the Battle for Dream Island series, first premiering on New Year's Day 2010, on the YouTube channel Jack and Jellify. The show takes place in a fictional location known as Goiki. The first season has 25 episodes. BFDI was succeeded by Battle for Dream Island again, released on Friday, June 29, 2012, with the release of Yan, who, I want to know. This season involves 20 anthropomorphic inanimate objects, and later, one humanoid, whom have known each other all their lives and are casually living together. But when the host, the announcer, falls from the sky and tells everyone about the luxurious island known as Dream Island, competition sparks, and everyone begins battling each other for the island. In episode 1b, the second part of the first episode, the announcer divided the 20 contestants into two teams of 10, the squishy cherries and the squashy grapes. The two teams competed in contests at the beginning of every month, and the announcer put the losing team up for elimination. The elimination ceremony is known as the cake at stake. The viewers then decided to eliminate someone between the first and tenth of every month. At the beginning of the next episode, the announcer eliminates the most voted contestant and sends them to the tiny loser chamber. In episode 9, the teams reformed, and half of the squashy grapes formed a third team, called another name, in the process. During the cake at stake, the two most voted contestants would leave the losing team. The winning team would then choose one of them onto their team and eliminate the other. In episode 12, the teams dissolved, and the contestants competed as individuals. The announcer then introduced a new point system. The contestants kept their scores throughout the season, and they could earn or lose points, depending on how they did in a contest. At the end of an episode, the three or four contestants with the lowest scores would be up for elimination. The announcer would then send the most voted contestant to the tiny loser chamber. In episode 19, the point system ended, and competitors competed for immunity. One or two people won immunity each episode. The announcer put the rest of the contestants up for elimination and sent the most voted competitor to the tiny loser chamber the following episode. This process continued until the final three. The viewers then decided which of the three would win Dream Island. In 2008, Michael and Carrie Huang created a catalog which featured a comic strip of Fiery, Woody, Teardrop, Spongy, and Match. They later decided to do comics comic strips, and even some series like Total Fiery Island, Total Fiery Points, and others. They decided to make a Adobe Flash animation series of a contest to win an island called Dream Island like Total Fiery Island. They decided to release it on YouTube on Jack and Jellify's channel instead of Carrick's channel. This is the elimination process for Battle for Dream Island initially. The team that lost every last contest is usually put up for elimination. The viewers then vote who they want to be eliminated on the losing team between the first and tenth of each month. At the beginning of the next episode, the elimination ceremony, known as the cake at stake, commences. If a contestant is safe, then they will receive a slice of cake or something else. The competitor with the most votes will not get the cake, and will be eliminated from the battle, and thus, sent to the tiny loser chamber. Since the eventual merge of the teams, the contestants that did not receive immunity, or got the lowest scores during the point system stage of the game, are put up for elimination. Typically, three out of four contestants were put up for elimination during the merge. Occasionally, the contestants themselves got to choose who was eliminated instead. Many contests reward the winners. Usually, the prize is immunity for the winning teams slash contestants, but sometimes the reward is an eliminated competitor, rival teammate being added slash moved to the winning team. Before the merge, contestants could also win a win token. If a contestant is up for elimination, they could use their win token to erase half of their votes, helping them stay usually safe, except for needle and golf ball, during eliminations. Other rewards such as the BFDI posters, the BFDI DDSs, teddy bears, and houses, 
were also given out prior to reaching a new stage in the competition. Inanimate Insanity is an American online animated reality web series on YouTube created by Adam Katz, Taylor Grodin, Brian Koch, and Justin Chapman, who created the series together on the YouTube channel Animation Epic. The series is about a group of anthropomorphic objects that compete for 1 million US American dollars, led by the host, MePhone 4. It first premiered on April Fool's Day, 2011, but unfortunately, all of the original first episodes were deleted by former voice actor Nate and were remade, and is currently airing its second and third season simultaneously. Outside of the full episodes, the series has expanded into animated shorts, web comics, several soundtrack albums and merchandise, such as t-shirts, coffee mugs, and phone cases, with plush toys. Inanimate Insanity revolves around a group of anthropomorphic objects competing in a reality show with the grand prize of 1 million US American dollars. The reality show is created by their host, MePhone 4, an anthropomorphic smartphone manufactured by Meeple Incorporated. While the contestants compete in various challenges, they develop relationships with each other and form alliances, but every contestant is challenged to see who can outlast the others. The style of the show is similar to that of Total Drama Island and Survivor in that the contestants compete in challenges for rewards and immunity and avoid elimination from this competition show. The contestants are progressively eliminated from the game, as they are voted out by their fellow contestants, formerly by viewers, until only one remains to be awarded the grand prize. The series takes large inspiration from Survivor, Total Drama Island, and Battle for Dream Island. As the show revolves around a competition, the format of Inanimate Insanity follows the contestants' gamma play each season. The group of contestants are split into teams that compete against one another. Each episode, a challenge is introduced to the contestants by the host to determine a winner, whether it be one contestant or an entire team, to win immunity for that round. The contestants, or team, that does not win the challenge is put up for elimination, which is either decided by viewers of the series through, formerly viewer voting, or the contestants themselves. The player who receives the most votes is eliminated and kicked out of the competition, rarely given the chance to rejoin. When there is less than nine contestants, the teams can dissolve, known as the merge, and each contestant fights for themselves, though alliances can be formed. Strategic gamma play along with positive relationships are highly sought after in the competition, and lack therefore may result in elimination. The two contestants who outlast the others and avoid elimination are entered into the finale, who go head to head in a final challenge to win the grand prize. There are currently three seasons in the Inanimate Insanity series. The series' first season, entitled Inanimate Insanity, or Double I for short premiered on Friday April 1, 2011, on Duncan Epic, and later Animation Epic, where all future seasons and content would remain. The series tells a story about MePhone 4, a sentient smartphone, who spontaneously creates a competition between 16, later 18, anthropomorphic objects, who compete against each other in various challenges for a grand prize of 1 million American bucks. The series' second season, entitled Inanimate Insanity 2, or Double I, times slash plus 2 for short, 
premiered on Tuesday, April 2, 2013, two years, and one day, after the first season. The second season continues the same story from the first season of Me Phone 4 once again creating a competition between 19, later 20, then 19 again anthropomorphic objects, who compete against each other for another million American dollars. The story while following the same template as the first season, branches off into more developed storylines with characters and intensive themes. Additionally, an alternate season exists called Inanimate and Sanity Infinity, which takes place in an alternate timeline of Inanimate and Sanity 2. And finally, the series' third season, entitled Inanimate and Sanity Invitational, or Triple I for short, premiered on Saturday, April 3rd. 2021, eight years and one day after the second season and ten years and two days after the first season. The third season runs simultaneous to the second season, though it tells a new separate story is stated to have no effect on the second season's story. Throughout the inanimate insanity's history, there have been various spin-offs that have branched from the show's characters and lore. For the examples with, number one, The Taco Show, a short-lived spin-off where Taco interviews contestants. Number two, Inanimate Insanity, a crudely made spin-off version of Inanimate Insanity, featuring short episodes with characters using distorted voices and partaking in absurd stories and challenges. Number three, Inanimate Battle, a live-action competition where contestants, both familiar and new, compete against each other. Number 4, Fan's Fantastic Features, an animated spin-off series hosted by Fan, where he interviews eliminated contestants from the first two seasons of Inanimate Insanity. And finally, number 5, Inanimate Answers, a live-action side series hosted by Justin Chapman, where he takes on a persona and asks various Inanimate Insanity characters for advice. The video series had begun as a series of web comics called Inanimate Comics on Wednesday, July 8, 2020. There are currently six issues, with the official website saying more comics coming soon. The comics are created by Charles Case. Volume 1 ran from same following time to Wednesday, September 9, and Volume 2 started on Friday, April 16, 2021. The official store is hosted on Spring and sells various merchandise such as t-shirts, sweaters, coffee and tea mugs, posters, stickers, and so many more. Various soundtracks have been released on iTunes and Spotify, featuring the music from Inanimate Insanity 2. A plush toy of Lightbulb was announced during the Inanimate Direct, and was available at the Battle for Dream Island, Crossover's Inanimate Insanity Meetup on Saturday, July 30, 2022, on the Inanimate Insanity website's shop on Friday, August 5, 2022. And this concludes our 39th commentary blog, and we hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And we will see you again later.